All right, I real quick want to just talk about like domain and range and things like that. And again, the blue are um, each of the functions. And just notice that there's any time there's an x-intercept is when you get your asymptotes because obviously you're dividing by zero. And so that's when it's undefined. All right. So um, let's just kind of look at like domain and range and all that jazz. All right. So let's look at secant first. Um, the secant function is, um, let's look at domain. Um, now your domain is all reals like normal, except notice that you have all these asymptotes. And so um, if I get really close here, x, y, there's a y value up there. But if I land on it, there is no y value up there. So it's all reals um, except where those x-intercepts are. So we need to find a formula for that. So um, all reals except um, when x equals what? Well, this first one starts at pi over 2. Plus, and notice this is a distance of pi all the time. So we're just going to add k pi. And pi, k is an integer. So I could, you know, add 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, or negative pi, negative 2 pi. And that's going to get me every single asymptote. And again, the way I did that is I started at pi over 2, and then just I realized that these are pi apart. And so adding multiples of pi is going to give you all of those. Um, that's also the formula for all the asymptotes. Um, my range, well, start low to high. If I start low, um, I'm at a negative infinity, and I go to my last real value here is a negative 1. And then I have a gap in the middle, and then I start at 1 and go off to positive infinity. And again, should go low to high. And the period is the same as what it was before, which is 2 pi, so that's okay. All right, then let's look at um, cosecant over here. All right, and so let's look at this one. Um, the domain, again, is all reals except where we're going to have issues. So except x equal to, and um, notice we have one at like 0 and then every pi after that. So we can just say k pi there, okay? And again, k is an integer. So again, the first one's at zero, and then I'm going distance of pi from that. So the k pi gives me that. Um, my range is the same. It goes from negative infinity down here, stops at negative one, and then it picks up again at one and goes for infinity. And again, the period is, the period is still two pi. 